single fuel-efficient stove can save nearly three tons of greenhouse gas emissions per year. U.S. non-profit company Impact Carbon is working in Asia, Central America and Africa to sell these savings as carbon credits, and it's using the money to make the stoves more affordable for customers. There's a large market for fuel-efficient stoves in Kampala, Uganda's capital. The stoves can cut fuel bills by over a third, but with the price of metal on the rise, stove companies have struggled to keep prices within reach of Uganda's poorest. Impact Carbon is plugging the gap, using the international carbon markets to make the stove companies more efficient and able to scale up, which in turn brings down the cost of the stoves. Mariana Mazon has come to Uganda to assess Impact Carbon's application for the Ashton Awards. We go into quite a bit of detail. We talk to the distributors, we get figures on environmental benefits, on social benefits, are people making more money, saving money, and if there's really a potential to scale. EUF is one of Impact Carbon's partners in Kampala. Originally we are making 100 stoves per month, but just recently we've made 3,256. We're in position of subsidizing the, the stove cost and we, we give it out at a, a fair price to the final users. It also helped us in doing marketing campaigns. Just recently we had a ED promotion that they helped finance and that was the best sales we made ever since we started. Carbon Finance works by selling units of avoided greenhouse gas emissions called carbon credits. These units can be bought by companies or individuals wanting to offset their own emissions. Before they start selling carbon credits from fuel-efficient stoves, Impact Carbon has to measure the amount of greenhouse gas they save. The kitchen performance tests, you are comparing the consumption of fuel in the kitchens when the households use their old stoves and when they have the new stoves. So you can actually determine the fuel saving and this would uh, be used in the calculation of the emissions reductions. The tests in Uganda found that each fuel-efficient stove prevents around 2.8 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions per year, creating a benchmark for the sale of carbon credits. You go from actually measuring the reduction and turn it into a product that be, can be sold. Cookstove projects in particular are more desirable and can be a more valuable product to people because of the health and the uh, poverty alleviation economic impacts for people. Impact Carbon works with five stove companies in Kampala. The Carbon Finance has allowed the companies to improve their operations and invest in technology and marketing, bringing down the cost of stoves by up to 50% and increasing sales by one company from 200 stoves a month to 13,000. As well as domestic stoves, the companies also supply larger ones for use in restaurants and schools. This is the kitchen. Ever since they renovated this cooking stove, uh, the fuel has been reduced. On wood, they could use a truck almost after every month. A once truck, a month. Once yeah. a month. And how much do you pay for the truck before? A truck around 300,000 shillings. Now we can use one truck, one truck and to cover the whole term. Those are three months. Season. In Kenya, Uganda and Rwanda, Impact Carbon is now repeating the carbon crediting process for water purifying technologies that offer an alternative to boiling with fuel. Carbon finance goes beyond just allowing us to be able to provide a subsidized product. It allows us to do things like research, do things like market testing, and find locally appropriate affordable products and scale them up. Because even if you have an affordable product, you still need to be able to reach people. We have uh, about five winners a year that we hold up as the champions in this area. So I think a lot of people see us as a source of best projects being done in local sustainable energy. And to keep that reputation and to keep being a source of good projects, we have to always find the best and make sure they're the ones with the most potential to continue to grow and continue to do the work that they're doing.